Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Jarker. Yo. And we're looking at official trailer. That's an interesting. That's just at the beginning of the thing. So it's Axe One is the name of the thing we're looking at. No. Did what? Did you read the text from Rashi? I think it's something like Ak. Oh God. Now I can't remember it. Ash One. Ashoni. 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 That makes sense actually, because my Kapoeira instructor's name was Ashe, but it was spelled A X E. I called him Axe for the longest time. He's like, that's not. I'm like, oh. hey, bye, Axe. And so, <laughs> Sayani, Gupta, Vinay, Pathak, Lin, Leishram, now streaming on Netflix. That last name is quite interesting. So this is from Udly Films. Again, in the description, it says now streaming on Netflix. In case you didn't see it in the title, I mean, everything's gone to Netflix and yep. all the online streaming because yep. of you know this little thing called the pandemic. This is directed and written by Nicholas. Karkongar. Karkongar. You want to give that a shot? Karkongar? Karkongar. And it's produced by Vikram Mehra, Siddharth Anand Kumar. And Siddharth Anand Kumar. Well, I'm doing ox excellent. <laughs> Just shoot me. Like, goddamn. Oxalent? Like, how did I even. You can't even speak English, let alone so, so... trying to read names in another language. All right, well, here we go. You should have been prepared, no? It's me that's wedding. How to be prepared? I guess you want to renew a knocking cylinder down the jacket, they said to be gas cut them on a while. Hey, I mean, um, I put you on speaker loud. Loud speaker. Ah, everybody's here. It's the most important day of her life. Three kilos. I'm actually saying you look at that food. That food that smells like shit. Jesus. Wow. Do you know any place where we can cook the akuni? Akuni. Wow, that's rude. If it kills us, I think we should make this Akuni today. Akuni. Sundia, in logo ko kamera kiraye What's happening to Minam is worst thing that can happen to a girl on wedding day. हर बार कोई नया बंदा दिखाई पड़ता है वैसे भी तुम सब की शक्लें एक ही सी होती हैं कैसे पता चलेगा कौन रहता है या अगर हम सब के शक्लें एक ही जैसे होते हैं तो तेरे को हे फेयर पॉइंट मैं उनका बेटा का फ्रेंड हूं कौन सा बेटा नाम भूल गए हैं कभी कहता तू उसका फ्रेंड है कभी कहता नाम भूल गई प्रॉपर नॉर्थ ईस्ट की होती ना मैं तुझे गर्लफ्रेंड बना लेता द प्रॉपर नॉर्थ ईस्ट यू जमा लो I love this song too, but like, I don't know if it's gonna be copyright claimed. I think that's really cool. What is the importance of cooking the Akone? Akone? Akone. Okay, so they're from the northeast, right? I got that. And so I feel like that's probably one of their northeastern dishes. And I really like this idea. Like their delicacy? Yeah, and okay. I like this idea of the film kind of taking that dish and I, I don't Having know. Having a whole I, story around it? Yeah, because it's kind of representative of the racism that they feel mm -hmm. within their community, right? Or within maybe even India, like, I, I don't know. But like a lot of the stuff, the sentiment that's being thrown towards them by the other people who live in their building or who are around them, they're all like, you know, oh, what is this dish? Like, it's so stinky. Like, why can't you be normal? Why can't you not do that and not celebrate your culture? And you hear all these things that even for us, you know, growing up mixed race, like I can totally identify with that, with, you know, people saying things like, oh, you all look the same. Like, all you Asians look the same. Someone said that to you? Not to me, but to, okay, so here's a, here's a messed up story. One of my best friends, she is half Thai and half American. And to me, she 
favors more white than Thai. Okay. Her own grandmother said to her, all you Asians look the same. Her own grandmother. Yeah. Like that's messed up. All that stuff about like, the smelly food and whatnot. I have felt that because being Thai, like we cook with things like fish sauce, which smells. That's not the fruit I'm looking, what's the fruit? Durian. Durian, that's the one, that's illegal sometimes in some places. It's illegal, yeah. Yeah, because it stinks. Yes, like you can't bring it on a plane because it, it'll stink up the entire airplane, but like. I was in a bathroom once and it said no durian. I, well, I so badly wanted to bring it out. I so badly wanted to buy it just to like be a rebel. It's just be like, ha here's my stinky I'm food. American, I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are lots of foods that I I grew up eating that were really smelly and that if I was around my Western friends, I would actually feel, you know, a little bit ashamed or just kind of nervous about sharing that type of food with them. Even certain foods like around other Thai people. Well, Char's not afraid to share that food around me though. That is true. Just the, You did that to me just the other day. I ordered like my favorite Thai Look, soup and it's you were like, rude. what is that? It stinks. It's rude. I thought something died in the sink. <laughs> It's rude. It didn't smell that bad, It did. Okay? You might be accustomed to it. Much like someone who lives on the streets is accustomed to that smell. They don't How know that they smell. You? But you, like, it smelled so bad. And that, like, she was sitting over here talking, we're just, like, watching something, like, uh, we're watching something, I forgot what it was. I was like, why do you smell like a septic tank or something? Like, why do you smell like a sewer? And I realized it was the food she was eating, like this waft was just going this way, because there's a wall right there, has no choice but to bounce back into my face. I'm like, oh my lord. But uh, I wasn't that rude. I didn't say anything like racist. No, but like I can, I can definitely totally relate to that. Like that feeling of, oh crap, I just cooked some Thai food and I stunk up my entire apartment building and everybody knows it's me. Yeah, been That's there. not as bad as being like asked to bring a delicacy of your people to school and no one's touching it because it looks weird. Like yeah, that I've ex sucks too. I, I experienced that in Catholic school, like everyone, it's mostly white people. And for whatever reason, my mom got this bright idea that I should bring something from my Asian side instead of spaghetti, <laughs> something everybody likes, garlic bread. Like everyone can eat that. But, well, I shouldn't have been eating garlic bread because it's got dairy in it. But like, my, my point is that like, there's a lot of food on my Italian side that all the people in my class would have eaten. But my mom decided to have me bring something from my Asian side and no one touched it. And it was just sitting there very sad by itself. Yep. Kind of like I, how I felt. It was it was perfectly, perfect analogy for like what, how I felt in school, in Catholic school. I'm just like by myself, stinky. <laughs> Well, not, that's, and, not, that's, and that's what they've done with this movie, which I think is so cool. They've taken this thing and it's become this symbol for them being outsiders in their own community. I just think this movie seems so interesting because here you are, you're putting a bunch of Northeastern people in the spotlight. They are the protagonists, letting them take front and center stage and be like, yeah. here's a cool story. And it seems like something really fun, you know? I think that what they go through, assuming that this is speaking to reality really sucks. And I believe it because I've experienced it from Indians and I don't know what the hell this is what's going on. There are comments you will find on the channel because of the conflict between India and China right now saying ban Chinese YouTubers. And I'm like, you don't even know what my ethnicity is. <laughs> you don't even know what I am. I've watched Asian movies growing up and I love Asian food but I more identify with my Caucasian side. My personality is much more like my dad's than my mom's. For people to say that, it's just sort of bewildering. I'm like, I have nothing to do with China. I take issue with the Chinese government. I'm very outspoken about that. I take so much issue with Winnie the Pooh. Like, it makes me so mad. Like, everything the Chinese government does pisses me off, but that's no reason to then turn against the people who are from India, who live in India, or, yeah. or me. Like, why are you taking it out on me? Why didn't do anything? I have nothing to do with what Winnie the Pooh does. Like, leave me alone. Like, don't associate that. I'm on your side. I don't care for the Chinese government. I think what they're doing is really, really bad. Don't use Zoom. I like the concept of this, and I like, and you know, for it being this, what I imagine is a smaller film, I think that it's really high quality. I think that this being a low budget film, it, it feels very much like, I hate using this example because I use it all the time, the Yellow Miss Sunshine. Little Miss Little Sunshine. Little Miss Sunshine, that one. It's, I said yellow because it's a yellow. Yeah, yeah. Little Miss Sunshine, mm -hmm. that one. It has the Great same movie. sort of, it has the same sort of vibe to it. I enjoy that vibe quite a bit. I enjoyed that movie, and I have a feeling I would really enjoy this movie. And they got this wide cast of characters that are all sort of like, 
constantly sort of taking jabs at each other. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit hectic and cost, uh, what was it called? Caustic? Caustic, yeah. I sort of like that sort of humor. Yeah, and it's fun too, because it's, it's an ensemble piece, like you're saying, so it's like, you get all these different people. It's like, it's like a dish. You know, yeah. all these different <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. yeah. So clever, Achara. Yeah, I know. That's what the C in Achara stands for. Clever. Nothing else. Nothing Just else. Clever. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> I didn't say that, you did. <laughs> I know, uh, like, that's what you were thinking. I wasn't thinking that. I was mm. thinking um, What churros. were you thinking? Churros. Because you're, you're skinny and sugary. Skinny and sweet. No one's calling you fat in the comments. <laughs> no one. I don't delete those comments. Mm-hmm. I do delete those comments, they make me mad. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> I don't mind them calling me fat. I don't like them calling you fat. That makes me mad. See, I get super defensive. Thanks. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. This is the truth. I dig this concept a lot. I think it's a lot of fun and it, it shows what you don't often see of India. I'm sorry, my eye just got distracted because Muna from Mirzapur is in this, looks like a romantic comedy in this other movie over here. I feel like we have to watch that at some point. This came out a year ago, Badnam Gali. I just got distracted for a second. Like, it's just so bizarre to see him happy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Anyone who's been watching everything on the channel will, will appreciate that. But uh, yeah, very much into this right here. Akoni. Ak Ak we both got it wrong in the beginning. It's Akoni. I don't know. I... Maybe it's like Raw 1. It's Ash 1. <laughs> that was funny. In my head. I just keep on those two lights down. You should. Who else is watching a Coney? I want to, and uh, it's on Netflix it's now. It's on Netflix. I will totally review it, and uh, maybe we can do a watch along. Yeah. Maybe. Who's, maybe. who's down for a watch along? Let us know. Peace out.